Hello everyone. It's time to learn more about hoardable money and unhoardable money and money with demorage. This is an article which was published by the Levant News. I am very grateful to them. It is called More About Unhoardable Money. It is taken from the book called Return of the Messenger. A note appears next morning on the bedside table. Dear Angel, the basic income is given only using unhoardable money with demorage. In doses which completely melt just before the next dose is received. It is given to anyone who wants it. Each dose is enough to ensure comfortably adequate food, clothing, and shelter for a week or a day, depending on how well the recipient can manage money. This allows for better circulation of the money, everything really, and better adaptability to the coming changes. If there are a lot of displaced refugees, then of course there won't be enough homes. But new homes could be built surprisingly quickly using the latest scientific technology. How could this be possible? Some people may already have an income and still want the basic income with demorage. Their basic income money can be invested using all the usual channels. Most likely, the basic income money with demorage will move quickly backward through the industrial complex, refining processes and products, and stabilizing the order process, and even shipping of the raw materials or natural resources. It can be said that anywhere there is infrastructure and channels for doing business, then the basic income with demorage will work many times better than the traditional unhoardable, than the traditional hoardable money. The better the infrastructure, the better this money will immediately work. If the infrastructure has been destroyed or is just not in place yet, then temporary arrangements can be created using the basic income of those who are able to invest it and want to. But it will be a good investment with growth Things will be temporary, but gradually become more and more comfortable. And then money will even begin to flow into those areas from outside. As the division of labor gets developed and refined better and better, nothing will hold it back anymore. It is said the people, in order to survive, will adapt. It is natural not to fight. When it is seen that unhoardable money with demorage works way better than their traditional hoardable money, people will begin to exchange their old money for the new unhoardable money. This plan will spread very quickly. Business will become more and more local, and people will begin to migrate much easier and more naturally to wherever is most comfortable for each person. It should be mentioned and not forgotten. 
that our transition and transformation using this new form of unhoardable money with demorage will call for land to be rented and not owned anymore. This change is something that will happen gradually and by choice. Nobody will be forced to do anything. The rental money for land, this does not include the man-made structures, should be dispersed equally to all the women and children, which should put us back on track again regarding the process of natural selection, which has gotten so far off course because of the special privileges hoardable money allows. Much more on this will be coming. See the article called Shibboleth Meeting Planned, published by the Levant News. How would I invest my basic income with Demorage if I already had a job and work income? The same way I would, I would using all the existing channels, banks, financial advisors, directly myself into the new hemp sector. There are so many ways. I could even invest in low-return, long-term, environmentally friendly projects and companies, including big multinational companies. I could give it to one person whom I believe would make the best use of it. I could give it to a poor person, but that really wouldn't be necessary anymore, since that person would already also be receiving the basic income with demorage. The note is signed, S.G. I'm with you. <laughs>